Hey folks, how you going? I've been busy at the moment. So, if you're not aware, um, 2014 I used to ride a motorcycle, not a motorcycle, a motorized bike. And I'll read this for you because it's relevant and it might help somebody from going to jail or get fines or whatever. Um, this is what this is about. I've written this on it on um, eBay forums to help people be aware of their rights. Um, but anyway, I've seen recently on eBay, I'm reading this because this is what I wrote, people trying to sell again motorized bikes and engine kits, all made in China. The point is there is no such thing as a 100cc motorized bike or kit and the legality. Simply put, because these kits require the chain sprocket to be bolted directly onto the rear wheel spokes and not the hub. Being a 100cc engine would rip your wheel apart and most likely put the rider in hospital. Besides this fact, the piston stroke is too small and so is the overall size of the crankshaft itself. Meaning at best, these motorized bikes and kits are only 50cc. Also note, each state and territory in Australia have road rules. And in New South Wales since 2014, anything that produces more than 200 watts of output power from the coil or electric motor is absolutely illegal to ride on the road and is considered an unregistered motor, motor bike or vehicle, which includes consequences for road and traffic safety fines not having a road motor vehicle license. This can also cause jail time. I understand all this being I rode a motorized bike for five years till I was pulled over by a police who took me to local court in New South Wales where I lived. But because it was my first offense of charges were dropped and I were giving, given an warning. I did ask the judge about the legality of the reduced airflow engine kits at the time but he only said to contact my local road and traffic organization for advice. And when I did, they just gave me no real answers other, other to say, reduce air, airflow engine kit don't exist. When in fact, I still have, still own such a kit brought from Zbox company in Queensland who knew about these new 2014 road laws and failed to tell me and still let me lay by such a kit for over $400, even after I had told them of my court experience, of which still I still have the emails regarding the conversation with a Zbox representative. And yes, there is a lot of tips I have about um, constructing and, and maintaining a motorized bike of the Chinese motorized bike kit itself. You see them either painted black or um, you may even see them silver. And And they won, I think, uh, for a whole bike now, it's like, um, I think $1,200, $1,500. And you're basically um, wasting your money because you can't ride them anywhere unless it's on private land or on a farm or something. So you're basically waiting. Same as electric scooters, skateboards, whatever they are. Um, the police will just find you on the spot. And if they're really nasty and you're not wearing a helmet, they'll find you for a helmet and everything else. Um, so I hope this helps somebody. This is what I'm talking about. I'll see if I can find it on eBay. Um, and um, see if I can find it. Let's just have a look. Um, these are a kit that say, this one actually says 100. 10 cc though it does look like it does have a bigger piston um but still they want 350 bucks for that um it says it's a two stroke but still it's not 110 at most to be over 50 cc's um 
see if I can find an actual bike. There's one for example, which has been up on eBay for over two years. That bike's been on eBay for two years trying to sell that. Um, if you're smart, you'll look into everything before you go and bother. Because a lot of people buy these to race them on a private um, race strip or circuit. And um, they're good. They're nice. They're, I mean, they're fun to do, fun to build. I learnt that if you don't want to constantly maintain your clutch, which uses a fibrous material, I can't remember what it's made out of. It's red. Um, I got the one made out of asbestos. Obviously, you need gloves and a mask to clean all that. But I'm saying you only have to do it every three to six months, if that, to clean those clutch plates or pads made out of asbestos. They they'd never wear out. I mean, I didn't. I think I only changed mine out once in five years. So if you're doing the red ones, fibrous ones, you're probably changing them out every three to six months, depending how often you ride. And that's the clutch setup I'm talking about. And see how small that clutch, that crank is. Look at that. Look at the size of those weights as well. And that says it's 80. And that's no way near an 80 size um, measured crank. No way. Because as I said, you'd just rip the wheel apart. Um, can't find a bike count. I'll put motorized bike instead of kit. If it loads. Waiting for that to load. <sighs> Finally. Let's see if there's a bike up there. Come on. Show me a bike. Oh, he's a good example. See that? There's so much they want for that. They want over 500 for this one. So they they must be aware, this particular person must be aware of the laws. Where is he located? Melbourne, Victoria. So he must be aware of the roads for, to sell it for half the price of what I said earlier, of under $1,000. So he must be aware of the laws to sell it so cheap. Because before 2014, before they made the laws more specific, these bikes would cost over two grand, literally. And there's also a fourth straight version that required gear oil. But the only problem with that was um, it didn't like going up hills because it's a stationary engine. So beware of the four stroke as well. Um, what I used to do also to upgrade my bike was um, I also put a spring loaded chain tensioner and which is, uh, let me see if I can find it. Well, there's the, um, Just there, chain tens, um, tensioner, and that sprocket there is what I'm talking about. That bolts directly onto the spokes, not the hub. Um, I'll see if I can find a better version. Swap that around. Let's see if I can show that. Can't, I don't see that. I can't see if that shows that or not. But on the other side, you can just see a plate. This here is a plate on the back of the sprocket that has rubber that's actually cut out of tires that's bolted on there um, through the sprocket for the other side. And also, by the way, I also had to replace all those nuts and bolts that they use for the sprocket with um, auto grade steel bolts and nuts with lock nuts because they simply just ripped out even on the 50cc. Um, this one's, as I said, 
It's in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. $66 standard postage. These are more of the same thing. I can't seem to find where that motorized bike I saw for over $1,200. But um, the tank itself, I think is only um, a one liter, which is too small. Less than one liter, I think it is actually. I used to upgrade my tanks as well with a two liter, um, which would last up to 100 Ks, no problems. And I used to also ride to Olympic Park, Richmond, everywhere with a friend on the weekends and sometimes during the week. Um, you know, take an hour or two for a ride. If we're joy riding, we'd stay on the bicycle tracks and um, away from main traffic if, if we could, simply because the traffic don't care about you. Even on a push bike, they don't care about you if they can't see you or um, can't, can't um, see you, you're in trouble. But um, even the quality of this bike that they're using, I probably wouldn't even use it. Um, yeah, I would not, I'd probably, as I did before, I'd, re I'd build the bike itself as well um, with suspension forks. Um, I'd also use BMX um, gooseneck and handlebars on mine. That's what I did. I'd make sure everything was lightweight except for the frame. Um, as long as the frame could um, fit the engine kit also, I didn't like the fact that the coil was exposed and someone could easily rip it out or you could through going through the bush, um, depending where you were, like on the bicycle track, if it wasn't maintained. A um, little two-stroke plunger carburetor with a little fuel filter. This here is the clutch arm and the clutch is on the other side, which is... If I can find a picture of it, it's going to show me. Yes, here we go. That is the clutch, where the clutch is actually in. So obviously these bikes produce over 1200 watts, not 200 watts. Which means 200 watts is maybe 15 k's an hour if you're lucky, and most people can run faster than that. Which means if you have to, if you don't have to pedal your bike going uphill, it's illegal basically. It's one, of, it's the best way to look at it. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I tried putting a, the airflow kit on a bike, and then I realised there was nothing to stop the police from taking me to court. And even though the kit that comes with an engineering certificate um you had to make sure you could prove that the kit you installed and that you followed the instructions to the point um where the manufacturer doesn't get into trouble if you can't prove that then they can you know do whatever they want basically so yeah this is um video up for my youtube channel so um thanks for watching Bye.